Good morning, sleepy butt. Hello. Are you ready for breakfast? Are you ready for breakfast, my baby? Oh my goodness, you're such a good boy. Run. Let's go. Hi, guys. Good morning. It is so early. Well, I guess you could say it's early for me. Seven in the morning. I actually woke up like 30 minutes ago, but just kind of started to film and was in my room. We have a lot of catching up to do, but first off, I need to feed my son. Henry, do you want breakfast? A lot has happened since the last time I made a video. Okay, Mr. Henry, are you ready for breakfast? You can't even see him, he's so dark. So normally I ask him to sit for breakfast. Okay, ready? Sit, sit, no, sit down, sit down, good sit. Good boy. Gave me a little attitude. Cause he was like, I was sitting, mom. I just feel like as a new profound mother, I don't even know if that's the right word. You gotta just learn how to multitask really well. It's just a, a learning experience, I guess you could say. Uh, we'll, we'll sit down and update each other real fast because in my last video, I did not have a dog. I didn't even mention getting a dog. I didn't even know I was getting a dog. I'm so happy with him. He's the best puppy ever. Mama's gonna make herself some coffee before I tip over. He has been waking me up every morning between 5.30 and 6. And today's the first day that I actually slept until 7. Understandable, he is a puppy and he needs to be let out to go to the bathroom. Okay, because I turned the light on, you can actually see him now. Say hi! Do you feel better now? You ate all your breakfast, mister? Okay, guys, please don't mind my baby voice. I'm gonna be talking like that all day probably. It's funny, I feel like I have a whole routine in the morning now and I actually like it. Like I actually like appreciate the routine. I wake up and I'm kind of excited, if that makes sense, to just like get up and the first hour is like this, 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 like I know for sure. Part of my routine is uh, putting the dishes away, honestly. You see, I'm just like all over the place. I'm like about to do the coffee thing and then I'm like gonna grab another plate So I'm like, I'm walking over there again. Might as well put the plate away. Is that how a mom thinks? I don't know. That's how I'm thinking. So I feel like that's what a mom thinks. They like try and get as much done as possible while he's sitting right in front of me. So guys, officially meet Mr. Henry. Say hi, Mr. Henry. No, that's your name. Never mind. Don't say hi, Mr. Henry. Be like, hi guys. Mornings, he is a crackhead. Like he just goes crazy. Cause I mean, it makes sense. He was he was sleeping for like seven, six, seven hours. So he has so much energy. So he is adopted. I rescued him from the LaBelle Foundation. If you guys haven't heard of the LaBelle Foundation, they are a dog rescue and a, I don't know if they rescue any other animals. I think it's just dogs. I'm not sure. They rescue dogs. They place them with, with foster parents, I guess you could say, or foster or people that that will foster them, take care of them until they find them permanent homes. I actually don't know Henry's story. It's interesting because uh, they don't, they sometimes don't release that information, but yeah, I don't know where Henry came from. I don't know his story. I know he had siblings, but I'm not sure if he was surrendered, if he was abandoned with his, uh, with his family. Yeah, no, he is a very, very good puppy. And I'll get into that in a second. I don't know what breed he is. He is, funny looking to me <laughs> in the best way possible. They said that he's a chihuahua mutt. I'm not sure if he is part chihuahua. He definitely is a mutt. He has probably a million different things in him, but I actually did the wisdom panel DNA test on him this week. So hopefully we'll be getting those results within the next couple of weeks. We'll know exactly what he is. I'm so curious. Everyone keeps asking if he's part dachshund. He, I could I could see like Pomeranian. His ears are a little curly. So maybe he's like poodle, but he doesn't shed. So maybe he is part poodle. I don't know. Here, sorry. So he is only eight weeks old. He is gonna be nine weeks old tomorrow, I believe. So he is a baby, baby, baby. I can't take him out on walks yet. I can't take him out to public parks. I can't take him out to like public places because he is not fully vaccinated. Get vaccinated. <laughs> he doesn't have all his shots yet. He still needs two rounds of shots. So his like immune system isn't as strong as a dog that's like already six months old. So he should be fully vaccinated by four months, I believe, four or five months. Yeah, he will be able to finally go on walk. So everything has been on the pee pad. It's actually not as bad. He is actually pretty damn good with the pee pad, which I'm blown away by. Um, he's basically nine weeks. I've only had him since Monday. So it's in today's what, Saturday? And he is so good with the pee pad it's like the most bizarre thing ever we'll be in the living room and like he'll like squat on the carpet and start to pee and then i'm like henry and then he'll like stop like look and then run to the pee pad and then pee so i haven't been able to figure out if he just is a brat 
and like wants to like mess around with me or if he just kind of forgot that the pee pad is where he goes i don't know but i you know i've been rewarding him so it's funny every time he pees or poops he like looks at me and so like i give him a treat i am crate training him it's actually been really nice he loves absolutely loves his crate when i'm in my room he's just sitting in his crate the whole time like i leave the gate open he sits in it he loves his crate which is so nice because at night he goes right in and does not cry at all the first night he cried in his crate for like maybe like five minutes and then he went to sleep but yeah guys mom life is just it's so bizarre okay so this is what happened i was thinking about getting a puppy i was thinking about it but i was like oh my god getting a puppy is a huge commitment because they become your priority like not like you're not even your own priority anymore it's like you have to attend to them. So like if you're out, you have to obviously keep in mind like how long, especially him since he's a puppy, how long has he been in his crate for? Has he gone to the bathroom? You know, you're just always constantly thinking about them, about the pup. Yeah, it was just a big transition honestly this week, but I'm honestly so happy that I got him on the LaBelle Foundation Instagram. And like I go on it sometimes, but like not that often. And I went on and I saw him pop up and I was like, oh my God. And I knew Ayla has worked with them before. So I called Ayla and I was like, hey, do you know anyone that can help me get him? It happened and he is the best little boy ever. Like, it's just funny because I feel like there's never like a right time to get a dog or a wrong time. Like no matter what, you just have, I feel like you just, it's just gonna be an adjustment regardless wherever you are at in your life. But I feel like right now is a good time for me, especially because I do work from home. I am home a lot. Like I make my own schedule. So I know I'm just like going on a spiel. I've been talking for like the last 10 minutes, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys on how I got this nugget. Henry, what else do you want me to tell them about you? That you're teething and you love to bite my fingers dude he's so cute he has like this little like golden spot on his head and like kind of spots like throughout his body like that today i'm just gonna be a dog mom i'm basically showing you my new life as a dog mom okay guys so i'm here with am hi we came and grabbed uh some coffee from coffee bean okay but nothing is ever easy you guys no nothing's ever easy the reason we came on this walk is because i needed to get an espresso shot, Henry was slightly driving me crazy this morning. Yeah, we were tired this morning, but also we went to Starbucks and the line was out the booty hole. And so we said no. And then we walked yeah. to go get my prescriptions. The lady was like, you can't get them because your doctor hasn't approved them. And I'm like, okay. And then we went to get our coffee at Coffee Bean that we usually get at Starbucks. So we're just trying something new and they literally made it wrong. Yeah, I'm over and it. we're both on the verge of tipping over. It's been a uh, rough morning. Henry had me up around like 6.37. And we had to take a cheeky walk to get our blood flowing. Blood flowing, I need to get out of the house. Henry's taking his midday nap. Such a beautiful sight to see. <laughs> what? what? My sunglasses fell. Oh, oh. no. What? Uh, you, I will hurt someone. <laughs> no. I'm a wreck. You guys, he was 85. <laughs> Hello, my Mr. Henry. Guys, I am home. He actually really loves his crate, so sometimes he doesn't come out right away. But I feel like he would. Yeah, here he comes. Come on. Hello. Oh, are you sleepy? You took your nap? Your nap, you? Big stretch, big stretch, big stretch. Oh, I love you. Go pee pee. Go pee pee. Good boy. Good boy, my Henry. It's just the little things that make me happy when he pees on his pad. Our girls be five new boys. <laughs> I'm into it, folks. I'm into it. Anne Marie loves her Love Island. <laughs> show, show, show everyone that you can play fetch, okay? Ready? Go, boy. Never mind. Yeah. How, about, how about your little bone? Go. Oh, oh boy. Oh, chinky. Guys, we literally just like stare at him all day. I just gave him lunch too. But I just realized that I need to go to the pet store and get him more food because he is, um, how do you say, bougie? But what do you expect? He's my Sick. son. Um, no, I'm kidding. But his uh, his food is like that food. It's like actual food, and you have to like get it from a freezer and defrost it. It only lasts like five days, so I have to chicken and rice and yeah, it's like fancy, so it goes really fast. So I need to go buy that. Henry. Sit. Good boy. Good, Good boy. boy. Okay, let's see if we can do down. Guys, leave a leave comments down below what you think he is. Sit. I'm curious Henry. what y'all think he is. Sit. Actually. Sit. Go. Sit. Good boy. Down. Down. 
Yeah. Good boy! I'm the dad. Henry's the dad. I'm the mom. The life of a, a life of a dog mommy. I feel like I was just meant to be a mother. You know, I was just meant to do this. No, Henry, this way. Oh, just me sitting like this, full straight on the camera. <laughs> The also guys game over here like this. Also guys uh, update uh, we went to Starbucks and got our other drinks. No, you guys, the <laughs> freaking past like 30 minutes of our life was so unnecessary. Not what I needed. Can you just tell them no, we walked all the way. So basically we walked in a giant square, right? Like here's our apartment. And then we walked to the Ralphs to get Starbucks and the line was out the door. So we were like, ugh. And then we walked up and over to the Walgreens. And the lady, like I said earlier, was like, your prescription's not filled because your doctor hasn't answered. I was like, sick. We walked back in a square like this all the way back to the Ralphs because we got a coffee at Coffee Bean and it just it wasn't it and we didn't want to start our day off wrong. So then we went back to the Starbucks at the Ralphs and there was no line and we got it and it's perfect and crispy but it took a long time. It's just not what I needed. And oh, then me and Franny were both like, Franny was like, I'm getting a blister, Am. And I was like, wait, same. Oh my. But mine's because I have a hole in my sock. Sorry for my foot, but. But we have them in the same spot. And mine's because I'm janky and I wear socks with holes. Now mine is just cause, I don't know, but the slides I was wearing for some reason never give me. I don't know how you do slides without socks cause I always get blisters on like the tops of my feet. Uh oh, he sees your toe. Mr. Henry, what do you have to say to the camera? Just give, let me kiss him. No, he's a good boy.